Hello and welcome back to another Razor training video for the VB.net training course. So let's go ahead and open Visual Studio 2008 if you haven't already opened it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go to File, New, Project, and then go ahead and click Project. this screen pops up right here and what you're going to want to do is go ahead and where it's in the name property go ahead and just type in I don't know uh, my first program but don't hit enter yet but if you want to go ahead and hit enter but I'm going to explain what a few of these is a few of these items on the thing is okay make sure you have visual basics select and make sure nothing else is selected and make sure in the templates Windows Forms application is selected. I should have probably mentioned that before, but yeah, make sure that is selected. Nothing else. This is like the default uh, thing for making a program, the default template, I guess they'd call it. And it really doesn't matter what framework we're using, but just go ahead and choose 3.5 because that's the latest one so far until 4 comes out when Visual Studio 2010 comes out and April 12th okay so go ahead and make sure this checkbox right here is selected create directory for solution okay go ahead and hit OK okay there you go your little form pops up right there so what you want to do now is just resize the form so it's a little bit smaller and there we go. As I said before, the form is just a basic thing where all the controls and stuff go into. And it's like the user interface, basically. Okay. Go ahead and just go over to your properties panel. Drag this little thing up right here so your properties panel is much bigger now. Of course, I adjusted my resolution for this video, for all my videos, so that it looks a lot bigger on YouTube, because if I do it in 1080p, then it'll be like 10 times longer to load and everything else. Okay, make sure your form is selected right now. And go ahead and scroll down a little bit to where it says text. The text property on a form is what the little thing right here is going to say, the title of it. It's what that's going to appear as. See right now it's form 1. If I take that one out, notice it changes. It takes it out right there. So yeah, go ahead and change that to uh, my first program. So we go. There we go. And uh, I didn't say this before, but just go ahead and just do whatever I do, and I'll explain what I'm doing along the way. Okay, just so right now, just keep following along. Okay, go back to your properties menu and go to start position. And it should be right now at Windows default location. Just go ahead and change that to center screen. Start position is just where it's going to start up when you run the program at. Windows default location, usually it pops up on like this left, uh, the upper left hand side a little bit. And usually. Usually, people set it to center screen because it pops right in the center of the screen. As you know. Okay, scroll up a little bit and take off maximize box. I say you get the false. False meaning you won't be able to maximize it. See how it's grayed out right now a little bit, or it looks like it's gone, sort of. That means you won't be able to maximize the box now. Say that. On oh, if you ever want to save it, just go ahead and hit Control S, and it'll save it. Okay, and, uh, what else? Right here in the icon property, and go ahead and choose whichever icon you want, or whichever one. If you already have an icon made, and then it'll pop up this on the top left-hand corner of the program, just like every other Microsoft program. Okay. And that's it for right now. 
to go ahead and go to your toolbox menu and click on button. It's near the top of the all windows forms. Just go ahead and just click it and then click it onto the form. And what should happen is it'll put a button onto the form. And if it comes in really small like this, sometimes you might drag it a little bit, it'll make that size. Just go ahead and drag that out. And it's the same it's just the same as if you just put it plop it down on the form. Okay. And now what I need you guys to do is go ahead and scroll down a little bit more on the toolbox menu and find where it says text box. Go ahead and click on that left click on that once and then drag it to, uh, go to the form and go ahead and click on the form and then a text box will appear. Level 2 arrow this means you can resize it to whichever size you want. I'm just going to get the width of the form right now since it's pretty small and you can adjust your form to whichever height and width you want it. I'm just making mine real small because this is a really small program. Remember control S to save. Okay, for right now. Okay, let's try to debug this thing first. Debugging is just basically it's going to run the program with some stuff that catches any errors and see if there's any errors in the program that need to be fixed. The debug you can either hit this little green arrow right here, which says start debugging, or do what I do and just hit F5, which will start debugging. And once you start debugging, the little form will pop up right there. Voila. There's your little form. Right now, it's not going to do anything because you haven't put any code into it right now. So, yeah, but, but hey, you already made your form. So that's, that's pretty cool. And notice that we took the maximize button off. So, you can't maximize it now, which is pretty cool. Go ahead and just close that. Once you close it, it'll end the debugging process. Okay, which, what I need you to do now is go ahead and double click button 1. Okay, once you double click it, you'll be brought to the code menu. Or code. Okay. This may look intimidating at first, but once you start getting used to typing and coding and stuff, you'll understand what all this stuff means eventually. Okay. For right now, put your little crosshair between private sub and end sub. And type exactly what I type. Text box one dot text equals space open quotations hello world close quotations and go ahead and save that okay let me run through what this does this code right here is going to make text box 1 which is this thing right here text box dot text the text property of the text box to say or equal hello world this is just like if I went to the text box and went to the text property and typed in hello world right there. If I can spell it right. Got it. There it goes. That's exactly what's going to happen when we run the program. Go ahead and take the text out. And uh, save your project. And go ahead and run the program. As you notice when you hit button 1, bam, hello world pops up. Because we're changing the text property of text box, change the text property of te text box one to hello world. And congratulations, you have created your very first VB.net application. All right, that's the end of this video. Tune in next time for some more projects and more videos. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you like these videos. And this video is sponsored by GordSmash.com. And thank you all for watching. If you need any help, post a comment.